So now let's take a look at SSH. So from the original scan, we saw that it was open and we saw open SSH 2.9 P2. So we're gonna copy this and just make a note of that in our notes as well. I think that's important. So we'll just say SSH. We've got the version there. So let's take this and let's do a little bit of enumeration and talk through it. So sometimes you're gonna get a scan back and your scan's not gonna have really a version here. It's just gonna say SSH. And we can go and try to find that out ourselves and it's always good to attempt that. What we're gonna do is we're going to attempt to connect to SSH to this specific port and see if it gives us any information about what's running. And that's really it. At this point, it's that's most of the enumeration that we can do. Anything with SSH, the second that we attempt to make a login attempt is going to be exploitation. Even if we just try one password guess, that's exploitation. So we're not going to do that right now. We're gonna save that for the exploitation part of the course, but I do wanna show you a connection and just something funky with this anyway. So let's go ahead and just go to our terminal. And the typical way to SSH, if you've never done it before, is you just say SSH and I wanna SSH to a specific IP address. So this is the IP address I wanna, I wanna SSH to. The issue with this box is this box is old. So when we go to try to SSH to it, it's gonna say this, hey, we haven't found a matching key exchange. So they, they're giving us a few different offers here. We're gonna to have to type in a little bit of syntax. This is not common, but this is also useful to have in your notes because this does come up occasionally. So we can just say a dash O and we're gonna type KEX like this and then algorithms equals plus sign. And I'll stall for just a second so you can catch up. And then I'm gonna copy this one here and then I'm gonna paste it. And you're gonna see we're gonna get one more error. And this is going to ask about a cipher. So it says there's no cipher found. We're gonna do a dash C for a cipher. We're just gonna copy this and we're gonna paste it. And this should now provide the opportunity to connect. It says the authenticity can't be established. We've got an RSA fingerprint. Do you want to connect? We're gonna type in yes. Okay. And what's happening here is it's asking us for a password. There's nothing here for us. So I'm gonna hit control C. Why did we do this? Why do we even attempt to make this connection? Well, sometimes what happens is a banner is exposed and the banner will say, hey, we're running, uh, we're running SSH version XYZ and this is built by this person, by this company, et cetera. So here we're looking for a banner. Unfortunately, there was no banner. Um, so that doesn't give us a lot of information, but fortunately for us, when we had our, our scan here, we were able to pull down at least the OpenSSH 2.9 P2. So that's it. Uh, and I told you in the beginning, SSH isn't very exciting because there's not a lot of opportunities for like remote code execution. Really the way we're gonna have to do this is hammer it with brute force, and we'll talk about the reasonings why later, but we'll have to hammer it with brute force and just pray. Spray and pray, as we like to call it sometimes. But for now, that's it for SSH. So we're gonna start moving into research, different tools we can use to research vulnerabilities, and additional videos on that. So I'll catch you over in the next video when we start digging into some of what we found.